is time. It's time for the lightning round. Congratulations. I tell you much all best. You can save with the rest of the pleasure. And then the lightning round is are you ready? Ski that through the lightning round. Congratulations. Let's start with Aaron in Pennsylvania. Aaron. Hey, Jim. How you doing? First time caller. Thank you for sharing all of your investing knowledge with all of us out here. I'm uh, thrilled that you called. In thrilled. Individual stocks last year. I have a, uh, a relatively new REIT, um, increased the revenue 17%, net income's up, earnings per share is up 15%, dividend yield 5.6, T of 11.9, uh, market cap of 3.79 billion, Vici Properties, ticker VICI. I was a big fan of Vici, the last acquisition they made, they did a bowling alley deal and I'm not sure I like it. Uh, because I just think it's a little too dicey. I really wanted to, I would love that when they're doing these really high-end operations. Uh, but you know what, let's have them back on. Let's have them back on, maybe we can figure out what the heck to go, is going on because I do think the management there is excellent. Let's go to Hutch in New Jersey, Hutch. Hey Jim, how are you? I am good, Hutch, how about you? Good. I'm looking at uh, Generac. See what your thoughts are okay, about Generac. As long as, as long as interest rates are going to go low or lower, then Generac's fine with me because the grid's awful. It's going to be a bit more of a financing play because you have to borrow so much money to get a Generac. But I think it's fine here. We had the one I like. Let's go to Joe in Maryland. Joe. Yes, Jim. Thanks for taking the call, buddy. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm thrilled you're calling in. What's happening? Well, I did. About eight months ago, I bought in. Well, I bought a thousand shares of a company that is doing pretty good, except until lately, it's been going up and down like a yo-yo, and I can't figure it out. Now I'm thinking about selling half of it and putting it into Ethereum. Now the company that I bought would be Caboleta. All right, that's T Cell Immunity. I have always felt that that is an incredible hopeful product so that with speculation money, I'm fine with it. I typically do not like a lot of biotechs, but that is a particular kind of therapy that I believe in, so I'm okay with it. Let's go to Philip in Arkansas. Philip. Yes, Mr. Kramer. Philip yes, yes. Uh, in Arkansas. First time caller, long time listener. All right. Thank you for everything that you do. You're welcome. Uh, Jim, I bought a regional bank right before the regional crisis. I bought more because I believed in the the, the bank. I'm, I'm now up 1%. I, I get a 5% dividend. Jim, should I buy more, hold, or trim, or sell Regions Financial? Or, All right, just or hold on to it. It's not my favorite bank, but I think it's fine. My favorite right now is this Wells Fargo, which has just been a juggernaut for the Chapel Trust. But I think you're fine. Let's go to Supo. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Supo, North Dakota. Super. Yeah, thank you so much for taking my call. Of course. I'm so grateful. I wanted to ask you about M-A-R-E. I bought it at $25 per share yesterday. I went down so much. What's the Should one? I continue to buy more or get out of it? Oh, Marathon? Well, no, I mean, just go buy the Bitcoin ETF. That's what you want to do. Don't fool around. Own the, own the pure. Let's go to Jerry in Illinois. Jerry. Yes, Jim. Booyah, Professor. Booyah to you. What's going on? You're the Professor of Finance. I've nicknamed you the Blizzard of Business Knowledge. I think one of the guys who back in 08 was lost in the forest, and the banks were only offering 1% on CDs, and you told all of us to invest as well as they could any time. So I followed your lead and did. And I want to thank you for making my financial life safe for the last 14 uh, years. You're terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, the, you're uh, why I do the show, man, because believe me, I could have retired a long time ago. Here's why I do this show. What's up? My question is about Portilla's restaurants. You interviewed the CEO, CEO a while yes. back. And I speculated a little bit, and I live near at Portillo's, and it's wall-to-wall -wall people all the time. And it's always jam, sir, me. but, you know, I've lost faith. I've lost faith in this management. They should be delivering better. The insiders were selling all, all, all. They were smart. I, I, just, I went to the places to see what could possibly go wrong. They're great looking. It's amazing. But that company is an overvalued company, and I just don't get how they could make it so they don't have better earnings. I mean it. They need better earnings. All right, let's go to Dave in Illinois. Dave. 
Dr. Kramer, a cheerful press conference retirement for Jason Kelsey today. Yeah, that good was man, a tough one. Man. What a good man. I had breakfast with him last year. He's fantastic. What's going on? Fully agree. My stock for today is Powell Industries, up over 100% year to date. In and it's not on done, Dave. Last... It's not done. Powell is just a really good company. It reminds me of Eaton, which we own for the trust. It's just a, it's kind of a mini, frankly, and I wish it would come down. I'd love to be able to put it in the portfolio. Dave always has something to offer. Let's go to Jeffrey in Massachusetts. Jeffrey. Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm a I'm huge, well. huge fan. I'm a Thank huge you. fan of the club. I'm calling from Boston. I actually have a stock that actually pays a great dividend, over $5 a share, and it's up over 20% in the last five months. The stock is BlackRock. It's going higher. I think BlackRock is the distinguishing event. It is the great financial repository for our nation, and you should own it. They made a fantastic acquisition for an infrastructure fund. BLK was, should never have gone down when it reported. It's still inexpensive. Great call by you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.